morning, YouTube. Friends and family, it's Monday. Heading off to work. Andrea has been gracious enough to follow me to my mechanic to get some work done on my truck. You gonna follow me? Okay. Uh, my state automobile inspection ran out yesterday. I meant to get this thing into the shop last week, but I... Hey! ankle bit. Anyway, thanks for coming with me and I'll see you in the truck. Well, I'm here. Andre is here to pick me up and I'm gonna hopefully get this inspection sticker maybe today. Finishing up this door casing today. I'm also, I'm sure you can't see that because of the backlight, but I'm going to put in the trim that goes between these window units. That'll be fun because I have to rabbit an edge. I like rabbiting. Uh, and then I'm going to move upstairs. You'll see later where I will be installing a nice cherry top on a bookshelf and some drawer fronts on some large drawers. So I really enjoy working down here. It's fun. You know, I like working with other people. I work well with other people, but I also enjoy my own company. How about you? You enjoy your own company? All right, I'm gonna get to it here. Finishing up the trim here between these this double set of windows and you know the wood that I have is a three-quarter inch thick wood and when it comes up along that bead it has this weird little shelf here so what I'm gonna do instead of trying to rip the thickness down to meet this is just put a rabbit in each edge to let it sink in that's my rabbiting for this morning that'll be fun why I ran the wood backwards first through the router before I ran it forward and the reason is because I wanted to reduce the amount of wood that was chipping out when I did my test piece 
I ran it right through, you know, uh, the direction you're supposed to cut and it was just chipping out. So if you run it backwards once, not all the way in, and then send it through the right way, you'll have zero chip out, which is what I had. See that how that fits in there real nice? This is my next area of work concentration. I need to put a glued up cherry countertop on those bookshelves. You can see there's half of my top, but there's gonna be a buck seam in the middle. And the other half is over there. The only tricky thing is, remember, the spray foam debacle where they had to cut the whole ceiling away, remove the spray foam, and install new spray foam. Well, when they installed new spray foam, it was a major issue with the bulging of the new spray foam in this area. So that made this ceiling very much less than flat in that corner. So it's gonna take some advanced scribing. I know I've gone over scribing in the past, but scribing is how you fit wood to an irregular surface. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of that here this afternoon. What an awesome alternative to recess lights. That mounts flush. All you need to do is bring a wire through the, through the ceiling instead of a whole big recessed box, you know, to hold that light bulb. I love LEDs. It's an expensive stud finder, but it works very well. I can see where all the rafters are, where all the strapping is. Not every carpenter walks around with a $6,000 thermal imager, but it does come in handy. That's the main surface that I need to scribe. <clears throat> What I've done is I've set the top parallel to the face frame here. So I measured the same at both ends to make sure that as I'm scribing in, I'm staying parallel with the front. Now I'll take a pencil and scribe down the edge while contouring the existing ceiling surface to allow me to get a good line to fit into. Now we need to do that there in the back, as well as right here on the end. First scribe was very successful. It needs to be scribed in a little bit more because that end down there is not quite touching yet. But you know, this first six feet is like perfect. say so myself, it's a perfect fit. Now I need to cut both of the tops, seam them together, 
and rip this one down to the same width as the other one and put a round over on the front and do some sanding. So, getting closer. This is gonna be a trick, you know, that was kinda easy. Describing the other one was kinda easy. Getting these to fit together nicely in the center, that's gonna be a trick. So to dress up the edge of this shelf and also to make it so it wouldn't cut you horribly when you bumped into it, <laughs> I'm gonna do a simple quarter round um, down this edge. And I'll do it both on this and this surface so it's a nice manageable touch and feel. joint in the middle. Very excited about that. That is now completely completed. It just needs to be, have the polyurethane put on. I'm going to pop it off so that, because this is a really hard spot to get finish into, you know, and knock it on the ceiling. So before I fasten it down, it'll be finished and then popped in and then maybe just a little minor adjustment. Uh, it's about quarter to four. My next task is to put those four drawer fronts on. I'm going to brain through that a little bit. I don't know how much of it I'll get done, but that's where I'm moving next. Mondays always feel so long, uh, and it was kind of a long day. Uh, I think back, way back to the beginning when I was dropping off the truck, it seemed like a whole day ago, but it was just today. Man, I need to shave again. It's only been like a week. <sighs> <laughs> 